This is a metaphor for the moho. This is Chuck the Cup. Chuck's volition is to hold coffee, and his only motivation and desire is to hold coffee. Chuck's personal causation is to hold coffee, and he believes he is able to hold coffee. Chuck's only interest is to hold coffee, and that is because his previous life experiences is just holding coffee. The environmental context is the hand holding the cup. The cup is shaped by and has to adapt to its environment. Socially, the cup has to conform to what a normal coffee cup is based on its material, shape, and size. Under the habituation context, Chuck's um, habits include being emptied, cleaned, filled with coffee. His roles include holding the coffee without spilling it and without burning someone. Let's think of performance capacity in the context of Chuck's sleeve and lid. His sleeve represents his physical ability to hold coffee without burning the hand, and his lid as his mental cognitive ability to carry out the task of holding coffee. Both the sleeve and lid enhance his performance capacity. So now we have thought outside the box and inside the cup to break down the moho. From this, we can determine that Chuck's occupational identity is to be a happy and functional coffee cup and his occupational competence is his ability to hold and deliver coffee efficiently. If there is a disturbance in any one of these areas, Chuck will no longer be able to perform his occupation of holding coffee. Through the help of occupational therapy intervention, Chuck will be able to adapt to this new change and find a new occupation as a crayon holder. We hope this has helped you understand the moho.